what you've done for me. Thank you, Lord, for what you Hey, everyone. Matt here, Home Farm Ideas. And uh, today I'm going to be topping off my um, water in my aquaponics system. And that means that I'm going to need to be checking um, certain things in my water because I don't know what it's going to be adding or removing um, or diluting. Um, my water was really low due to uh, really high temperatures over the past few days. The last video that I posted, um, you could see my poor jalapeno plant just totally took a turn for the worst um, and it was due to the heat just shredded the, the leaves um, <clears throat> so since I'm topping off I'm adding probably about a hundred and probably about hundred and ten gallons to my system so it was really low um, but now I'm gonna need to check basically the iron content of my system the plants are looking okay right now as you can see this tomato plant here I got strawberries back over there those are pumpkins back over there flower over there from a pumpkin plant I got some onions and some bell peppers. The bell peppers are actually starting to turn a little yellow on the bottom there. Um, and those are older leaves though, so when I put them in the system, um, they were already looking kind of shabby. So, um, I wanted to check the iron content. And I have an iron checker, but it's not very good because it relies basically on the human eye. Um, and so I was kind of, you know, for the color changes and stuff in the system, um, like it'll show like a color chart and it's really hard to test uh, that way um, but uh, I did find something online and um, it was uh, Hannah Instruments and it was this thing right here this is the lower end uh, of the iron checker uh, you have the upper uh, the higher end of the of the uh, of the checker and then you also have the lower end um, and in aquaponic systems your iron content should be about, um, I think it was like 2.5 per parts per million to, um, to you know, like 3, 3.0. So, um, so 2.5 to, 2.5 I would say would be like the sweet spot. So I want to check and see what the iron content is today, um, now that I've topped off. Um, so I want to check it. And then after that, I want to show you guys, um, but I'll have to do a follow-up video on, on, you know, how it dissolved basically into the system. But I want to just check it today to see what the, uh, you know, see what the parts per million is right now so that I can see if I need to add iron or not. So this is actually, um, I've read a lot of reviews on it and everybody loves it. So I'm really super excited to get this. So let's check the iron in the water and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> all right so I went through all the procedures on running this iron test and it is now counting down I'll show you how to do this in a later video but uh, yeah I just wanted to show you guys um, I'm really curious to see what the parts per million is right now because they were already starting to get low but um, I'm really excited about this checker because I was guessing up until now at the iron content. Wow. Okay, so 0 0.07. So that means this was diluted a lot. Um, and my system was already almost dry, basically. So I'm at this point, I'm going to start seeing issues on my plants, which I thought I was already seeing um, because those bell peppers in the background there, they weren't. Um, the yellow leaves weren't going away. They weren't uh, bouncing back and the growth is kind of slow. Um, so, yeah, Seven, 0 0.7 parts per million, which is very low considering it needs to be 2.50 or 3.00, um, which is ideal for aquaponics. So with this Hannah checker, I now know exactly what I need to add. Where before, and I know most of you guys out there are guessing um, at how much iron you need to put in your system, just judging by looking at the leaves and stuff like that. And you know what? I've been gardening a long time, 
and um, I have not been doing aquaponics for a long time though. So I was kind of going with what everybody was saying, which is, you know, watch the leaves and all that. And I was doing okay with that, but I was running into other issues. So when I don't know exactly what's in my system, um, I have no idea what to really do. So me personally, I like to know exactly what I'm getting into. And so this checker, um, Hannah Instruments, they sell it only on their website, I believe. And um, I'll put, you know, I'll put a link in the description below and I'll, I'll actually put a link in the video right around this so you guys can get it there. Um, great company so far. I've talked to uh, one of the um, guys over there at Hannah. His name is Justin, great guy. And um, I don't get paid for this or anything like that. Um, they did send me this so that I can use it to check it on my video and they wanted my honest opinion and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on it. Um, so far, it it's great. Um, it's telling me exactly what I need to know. So now I need to add iron to my system and I'm gonna put it on this video to try and see, uh, to try and show you guys basically how much I need to add. So I'll do the math and stuff and then I'll get back to you. But uh, yeah, so far I'm really loving it. I'm, I'm super excited because the next follow-up video on this, I should see explosions in growth because I'm getting the exact right iron content. And they do have other checkers um, like potassium and magnesium and stuff like that that I'll uh, try to be getting in the future um, if I run into any other issues. So let's do the math and let's uh, show you how much iron I'm going to be using. All right, so this is the iron I use. Um, it's 11% iron. And so if I did my math correctly, um, well, somebody else's math correctly that helped me, um, I need to add about, I think it's like three tablespoons, three tablespoons of iron. So I'm gonna put it inside this little shot glass here. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and when I do this, I don't wanna add this basically to um, directly to like my grow beds or anything like that. I mean, you can, but it'll just dilute slower. So what I'm gonna do, or what the plan is, right, is you can add some, it doesn't matter if you miss a little bit, you just wanna get it in the system. And since I'm doing this over the grow bed, uh, this will make it into the system. So any, any that I miss here will go directly into the water anyways. So I'm only doing this to show you guys what I do. So I get it all into this shot glass, or the majority of it. <laughs> so that's two. And then one more. And then what I do after this is, um, and I'm just gonna tell you guys, I'm not gonna show you that ha half of it because you can figure it out. But basically what I do at this point is I'll take this, okay? And I will add this to a whole bucket of water from this system, okay? And when I do that, I just mix it up really good until this dissolves real good and then I add it to the system slowly. So I'll add, you know, like a cup here and there throughout the day and that'll dilute it. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to test this one more time with that checker. So I'll do a follow up video, a real quick one, just to show you guys that it's working. Um, but you want to give it a few days to let the uh, iron dissolve basically into the whole system. Um, before you test it again. So uh, I'll do a follow-up test in a few days, uh, maybe even uh, five days or something like that. Um, sooner or later, it just depends on my day. So, But I'll do a follow-up video to show you guys that it's diluted in the system and it's working. So, all right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and, and um, Thank you guys so much for following uh, what I'm doing here. I really enjoy doing this kind of thing, and um, I look forward to doing hundreds of more videos. Um, I'm trying to be more professional, but at the same time, I'm really not because I want to enjoy this. I don't want this to be something that uh, controls me. I want to control it. So um, check out Hannah Instruments um, for this particular checker. And, um, you know, drop a comment in the, in, below how, you know, if you've used it or, or any of that stuff. And uh, so we can discuss it. Um, I'm learning you guys. And um, this is just one more tool that I can use to really learn this whole process of aquaponics and uh, really bring the best food I can to my family. So anyway, God bless you guys. And like always, peace.
Thank you guys so much for watching our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button to get all our video updates. Oh yeah, we do have other channels now, so please check them out. Like always, God bless.